Hello everyone, um, there may be some weird sounds in the background, this is like 5am and uh, there's a cat meowing out in the apartment complex, a fly buzzing around, all kinds of weird noises, but what I want to uh, do a review on today is, uh, while I still had money and another job, uh, I ordered from Banggood this set called uh, it's a 12 piece broken key extractor but the way they break it down in the description is kind of funny it says a uh, 12 piece lock broken key extractor remove removal hooks needle lock picks locksmith tool set it's almost like somebody's trying to do key words on this stuff you know so that anybody types in any of those words it'll link to that Strange or Chinese. Anyway, the uh, I haven't opened it yet. I was just kind of looking through it, and uh, I have down here some broken pieces of. Uh, this is a reflection wave set that uh, that was an excellent Bogota that I loaned to someone who was learning lock picking, and they broke it. Even after I warned them, watch out with Bogotas, you can break it. You know, but it's my fault. Like I said, for loaning a good tool. And this one is a uh, a Sparrows, uh, no, I believe it's a, a South Ord, yes, I think it's a South Ord Slimline um, Bogota. I ordered two, one I was going to order for the guy that broke this, and uh, I end up quitting my job, and I wasn't able to sell that to him, or, you know, not sell it to him, but uh, he didn't pay for it, I paid for it, so, uh, I broke this one the day that I quit my job, and I think out of frustration, I was working on a lock, and I just, it just snapped right away, so I have the other one as a backup, I ordered two, naturally, uh, and, and instead of throwing things away, what I did was I kept these. Not that I'm going to be able to spot weld it or anything like that, but it's it's a good shape to, uh, you know, to to uh, try to copy if you're trying to copy a Bogota shape, and it can be used in this case to see how well it would work on actually being stuck in a in a uh, a lock. So this thing I I had also ordered at the same time is a little clear. It says five pin practice lock, but the fifth pin is actually just the core holder. I mean, it's just to keep the core from coming out. It's not really a pin. You don't even pick it. You don't even get a chance to pick it. So it's really just a four pin lock. Uh, it has a wide open keyway. Uh, the core itself is not cut away enough that you can actually see inside the chamber or, or you know, flop around. So it's not really going to do us that much good. But it would be a good one, you know, to mess around with. And I have a good old master lock number three, which is more realistically where you'd probably see something like this broken into. And this is another clear, transparent lock that came broken and I reassembled it as a lock picker would. I made sure all the pins aligned. And that's not what you want a lock to do because you need some dropping down in there to at least make it work as a lock or somebody could just stick anything in there like a broken pick and open it. Uh, when I did that though, however than using friction because there was a problem, I used super glue. So this lock is not gonna be taken apart. The, the thing that I had ordered, it was said blue transparent, looked like a they gave me the wrong size lock on this it comes in a nice little case, but I rambled on too long anyway. Let's go ahead and start shoving things in there and trying to use these little tools. Let's uh, let's break them out of the little bag here. Some things I have no idea uh, what they are. I've got an idea uh, what the needle one might be used for. Maybe some of these are for dimple picks and stuff like this. But let's get a nice little bag of desiccant. They always warn you don't eat. Like, you know, I ordered a bunch of tools. Why would I want to... Why would I want to eat this? Like, they, they can give me a bag of candy? Uh, this is a nice little hook shape, and it's very thin. It has over here a point two millimeter. 
and a number one on it. So, very, very thin, but it's good for in, getting in there and hooking something on us, not lose our little pieces here. I may break this down into two segments, or I'll just don't worry about it and take forever. Here's another .2 millimeter with another little hook. Nice and a little grabby. I can feel it, you know, pulling on my finger. That's very good. Oh, by the way, this 12-piece set was only like $4 and something. $4.12. So, that's well within your scope of what... And, you know, just to make this, if you had feeler gauge, there's a nice little plastic handle on it. It says hook on it. Um fairly sturdily attached and uh, you get all these different little shapes which should work well by the way on removing both of these from uh, locks I just used the standard southward harpoon that everybody used to get with a pick set a lot of times they're not including that anymore wow this is a kind of strange shape um, it's a .15 millimeter labeled at number eight that would be look like it would be you you would go down into the where you would normally stick like the the bottom of the key the warding or whatever and and get in there and maybe hook something this way past a pin I'm not sure but uh, we'll try we'll try different ones um, here's another little hook shape type of thing kind of a more of a flat shape there are quite a few of those. This is a nice little knife edge type thing. I think I've seen one like Peterson's like that, where you just jab that in there and hope the teeth will pull out on it. This is a pretty good little, that, that to me would be worth it just by itself. But all these, it's not to negate these little hooks. These things are, are very good. We're getting down to the weird stuff now, which I have no idea. Um, see another hook, and it's another 0.4 millimeter, so... Maybe this is a little... It feels... Thicker. Alright, so we got some... We got some .2 millimeter. Sorry, I didn't notice all these in, were engraved in here. Um, .2 millimeter, number one and two. And then you have a three millimeter labeled three and four. And then you have a four millimeter Where's number five? Leveled five and six. And then um, a point four millimeter label number seven, which was a sawtooth little thing, and a point one five millimeter label number eight. So that's the numbered things. Uh, there are numbers also on these wire things. I was kind of wondering what this was. Look, if It's kind of like a, a needle file, like you know, a rasp, but I can understand what they're doing now. You, you stick this in wherever you can and you just use the raspy part to pull it, would be my guess. This one is labeled 0.6 millimeter. Uh, this blue one should also be 0.6 millimeter. The difference between the two seems to be the the pitch of the, the little threading here. It's like somebody tried to put a roll groove on a on a piece of wire kind of um barb shape you know where the flat side is down and then it flares towards the back uh, these are 0.8 millimeter both of those so I, I i never expect to see something like that in there but they might have some kind of use and you know it's 12 pieces so let's move this aside and jam up a lock, which everybody always wanted to do. Believe me, if you if you pick enough locks and you're and you're a beginner, you will break a pick a, off in a keyway. Let's jab. Uh, I think this is off of the. Yes, this is off the sparrow's reflection. It's pretty wide. I'm gonna put it in there as if someone put it in that way. Uh, let's jab him down in there pretty good make sure he's good and stuck get in there all right yeah so you see it it's way the hell in there but we got no idea no 
In this case, it would just shake out. Don't forget to try that. Sometimes it's just trapped between two pins in there, you know, before you go crazy and everything. Just try shaking it out because it's it's no longer held in there. But I'm, uh, I've had one that was kind of jammed up in there, and it took a little finesse to get it out. But let's try the little harpoony guy, or right? one of these little hooks. This is the point four millimeter number five. So you would just go in, into here, and try to snake that thing out, plop. I mean, that was too easy. And that was the widest one. Let me get a thinner one and put it in there. I think he ran away. Oh, he's hiding over here by this locker. It's hard to see this stuff. All right, this is off of the um, Sparrows No Handle or Southward. I think it was Sparrows now. Yeah. Anyways, they, they look so same. They don't stamp them. All right, we got that guy jammed in there as much as we can, and let's let's see what one of these little wire things does. It it does fit in there. Man, I don't know. It's not. It flexes a lot. I like the the tapered handles of these things. If I'm gonna extract something, you, you're gonna expect to run into some resistance. And again, that one just fell out, so maybe this isn't a big of a problem with like, you know, because we're using picks instead of keys. I don't have a broken off key to show you on this, um, but it would be a lot more stuff down here, you know, broken off, and maybe a piece of it up there. And I'm going to reuse this, so I don't want to snap this handle right now, or I'd do that. I'd just jab that up there in the last pin thing and snap it. But I'm afraid it would just come out real easy anyway. Uh, so my evaluation of the set is it's, it's a pretty good little uh, set to have of stuff. The little harpoons are all good. And the next time I actually break a, a pick off in a, a lock, I'll let you know. And I'll put it on video. Uh, these keyways are actually more wide open than that master lock number three. And so is this tiny little one right here. The only other thing I'd like to add is I got this, <laughs> it's just, it's an easy wedge, it's a car thing, but it co they call it an easy wedge, and it says it's an inflatable wedge for use with the big wedgie logout tool, which I thought was pretty funny. It's pretty funny. So there you go. That's my little overly long evaluation. No super strange noises came on. There was a cat fighting out there earlier flies buzzing around and refrigerator making noises but it's pretty quiet for a texas morning i hope everyone is doing well and happy pickings um and i would say you know it's not bad for four dollars believe me i mean there's a lot of good little tools in here that should come in handy probably most of them you don't need but i would say uh any of those Hint ones with hooks are good, and this thing right here, I know is going to come in handy on extracting something if I need it. And uh, if anybody knows what that is, they could leave a comment. I think that's for maybe dimple picks or something. I don't know. It's really bizarre. It's got a nice little uh, hook in there that you reach in and hook something with. Maybe one pin. Maybe pieces of the lock fell off, and it's not just... A broken key. Alright, thank you for watching this overly long video. And uh, everyone have a nice and wonderful weekend, which is what I'm going to do.